For some reason, the Kardashians always end up on our news and social media feeds, whether we like it or not. Everyone loves to binge watch garbage TV every once in a while, but the obsessive appeal to the Kardashians is questioning. They have unrealistic beauty and lifestyle standards, claim that they're self-made hard workers, and seem to be worshipped by a fan base that will buy anything they sell. So why are these people rich and famous in the first place? Many of course would point to Kim Kardashian's celebrity sex tape with Ray J as the main kickoff to her career, which it was, though people originally knew of the Kardashian name because of Robert Kardashian being OJ Simpson's friend and defense attorney during OJ's 1995 murder trial. I guess you knew OJ killed her, and then your dad had to represent OJ. I think at the time, like I just believed we were me and my sister Courtney. Chloe was a little bit younger, but Courtney and I just believed everything that my dad would do. So at the beginning, my dad definitely did believe in OJ. Did couldn't believe that his best friend would do that. Um, so you think he mom, really believed that he was innocent? Yeah, for a he, long yeah. time. Right. Years after, Chris Kardashian would go on to marry Olympic gold medalist Bruce Jenner, and Robert soon died of cancer in 2003. After the passing of Robert, Kim Kardashian was gradually becoming more famous, given as she was Paris Hilton's best friend at the time, and in early 2007, the notorious sex tape would be released by Vivid Entertainment. The video would go on to become the most watched X-rated video of all time. And I never thought I'd be saying something like that on one of my videos. It was because of the sex tape that people wanted to know more about Kim Kardashian and the life that she lived. And later in the year, Ryan Seacrest would start keeping up with the Kardashians given the success of MTV's The Osborne. All right, we're ready. No, no, no. We're ready here. The wind, you guys, is necessary. No change. Oh. Awful. No, that is not cute. Yeah, 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 I'm going. Yeah, I need someone to make me laugh. Where's Kim? Kim is always late. Get out of her way. Stop. Jealous. Enough. Stop. Enough. That's it. We're done. Running for 20 seasons from October 2007 to March 2021, the show focused on the personal and professional lives of the Kardashian-Jenner family. Even though people would criticize the show for showcasing people that are quote-unquote famous for being famous, it served as being a kind of guilty pleasure for many viewers that were into reality TV. It was because of the show that each Kardashian was able to really kick off their own careers and side hustles that would make them into the millionaires that they are now. Kris Jenner, aka The Momager, gets a cut of her kids' earnings for negotiating their deals and has her own brand deals, and not to mention she was also an executive producer on Keeping Up with the Kardashian. As a former Olympian, Caitlyn Jenner was already making money from endorsements, speeches, and appearances. Plus, Keeping Up with the Kardashian shows raked in more money. Kylie Jenner, the quote-unquote self-made billionaire, has her own cosmetics line, Kylie Cosmetics. Kim has several businesses, KKW Beauty, KKW Fragrance, and her own mobile game, Kim Kardashian Hollywood. Kendall being one of the highest paid models in the world, and owner of Kendall plus Kylie Clothing. Courtney, owner of a lifestyle website. Push, push, push. Chloe's made most of her money from keeping up with Kardashians and spinoffs on different TV shows and endorsement deals with brands. And honestly, I have no idea what Rob Kardashian does to make money. All, all I could really find is that he was on the show with his sisters. Of course, the show Keeping Up With The Kardashians led them to being as successful as they are as famous celebrities, but it's mainly the fact that they're covered 24-7 in the media that keeps their relevancy up. Every year, it's something with these people. You got the Rob Kardashian and Black China drama, you have Caitlyn Jenner transitioning and receiving the Courage Award, you have Kylie Jenner being the quote-unquote self-made billionaire, you have Caitlyn Jenner running to be the governor of California, you have Kris Jenner being rude to the limo driver recently. Sir? Can I ask you to leave us alone for five minutes? I, I just want to do something real quick. Thank you. Is his window rolled up? Yes. But the trunk is open. Close the trunk. So you're yelling at a f***ing guy? That Close the trunk. It's not what you say, it's how you say no. it. And how could I forget my personal favorite from Kim K herself? I have the best advice for women in business. Get your fucking ass up and work. There's a conspiracy theory that the Kardashians are often used as distractions to draw attention and eyes away from more important issues that are happening. Though obviously I can neither confirm or deny that. I will however say that the negative publicity they get, they probably benefit from more than not. I mean this all started off with a sex tape. The more people talk about you, the better. And in this day and age, I wouldn't be surprised if some of the things that they did or said was calculated to get more attention on them. One of the most dislikable qualities about the Kardashian-Jenner family would have to be the unrealistic beauty standards and trends they set over the last decade or so. 
Of course, if you want to make adjustments to your face or how your body look and you have the money, then definitely go for it, no judgement here. The main problem that arises from this however is such an obsessive, probably young impressionable fan base at the time, consisting of mostly women, saw how the Kardashian Jenner clan looked as being the standard for beauty. First it started people wanting their makeup to be done exactly like the Kardashians did theirs in the show. Pretty normal stuff, right? But it just got crazier from there. When Kim broke the internet in 2014 by recreating a controversial Jean-Paul Good Good photo for the cover of Paper magazine, there was a huge obsession with her butt, so much so that there was a rising interest in butt lifts. According to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, between 2000 and 2018, such procedures increased by 256%. As you can imagine, a similar instance of virality would happen with Kylie Jenner. And no, I'm not talking about that crazy Kylie Jenner lip challenge that everybody tried many years ago. Specifically talking about when Kylie Jenner changed her lips in 2015 at 17 years old and where searches for lip fillers went up 3,233%. It would only be a matter of time before the family would capitalize on the naive people that wanted to look exactly like them, in which they'd sell their own makeup brands and other products as listed previously when I talked about their income. The Kardashians should not get as much praise as they do, given for the fact that they are famous for being famous. They're literally just people like me and you, but with money. Aside from having a show on MTV that showcases a quirky family, it still baffles me how much they've risen in terms of their notoriety and financial status by just being a rich family that just got more rich over time. The main reason I'd say not to watch any more content related to the Kardashian-Jenner clan is because of how they paint themselves to their fanbase as people that work from the bottom to get to the top to be as rich, famous, and as beautiful as they are today. Unfortunately, selling them a lifestyle and dreams that simply aren't attainable.